Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. I'm going to show you how to wire up a minimum OSD to the race flight board. This is the image that I used. It's from a SE1 V3RT. I got it off the Slack channel. I know some of you don't like using Slack, and, and I agree it's kind of uh, hard to find things, but this uh, image was very helpful. However, he did forget one thing in this picture, and that uh, kind of messed me up. So I just kind of want to go over some stuff. First off, here's your revolt minimum OSD. This is the these blue ones are the holes. So that's where you're going to plug in your flasher if you need to flash it. Uh, there's already a video on how to flash them, so I'm not going to do that. So basically, the first thing you do is well, you can do it anyway, but this this wire the RX is going to go to TX4. Okay, so this is the signal from the, the revolt is going to be to the OSD. Now this is the part that I missed because it wasn't marked on here. Since this is transmitting, you have jumpers over here for TX4. And it has to be jumpered between the TX tab and the normal tab. So you need a solder jumper between these two tabs. If you don't do that, it'll just say, I think, race fight OSD in the upper left hand corner. So jumper this, then hook one wire from here to the RX. This is one of the holes in the pin. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to flash this first before you set it up. So flash it first with the race flight OSD. I'll put a link on the page for that and then do the wiring. Then from what I did was I did video from the camera here, video to the uh, VTX here. And that's that. I What I did off mine was a TBS Unify Pro. So it has 5 volts out for the camera. So what I did was I took the, the f ground and 5 volts out from the TBS Unify. It will also work with the Tramp or other ones. So the 5 volt out goes here, ground and 5 volts. And then to power the camera, the video came here. Then the positive and negative for the camera, I took and I connected right to the same pads positive negative that I had the video VTX power coming in so the VTX power comes in it hits these two ground and volt 5 volts and then also on the same two pads is the video out or the power out for your camera the ground and 5 volts and then I shrink wrapped it and stuck it together and again look at the notes here uh, at this time you must have incoming video signal for the OSD display to be working so again, the part that I missed that's not marked here is you have to jumper the TX and the normal. That's it. You can find these on eBay and stuff like that. And that's how you wire up a minimum OSD for the race belt. And what you'll get is RSI, RSSI, current, and voltage.